the YouTube video that I did on Halloween. Because it is I have another video for you. We have Big Mine is Reach Me now. I love to do videos like this to give you motivation. I love to give you speed. I love that stuff. To make you feel in that surrounding feeling to make to have that type of surrounding. So if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, now is the best time. I'm doing a giveaway on Good Friday. A way to enter is just subscribe. Just subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification too. You want to get the notification. You leave one of me there. And then you pick one from there. So if you're new to the channel, now is the best time to subscribe. So subscribe. Hit that bell notification too. And make sure to hit that like button too. Hit that like button. Helps out the algorithm. With that being said, let's just get a quick thing here. Hey guys, welcome to our brand new home. But before I show you all around, first and foremost, I have to give a massive. First of all, that shit is clean. I like, I like the house we got. We have a white and black living room. Blue roof. We got AC in the back. We got some glass on top. The top is white. Top is white. Top is white. And we do have the washer and dryer in here. So the washer and dryer is right here. The dryer is right here. So if you need to dry your clothes, you can do that right here. So thank you very much. Massive thanks to all of you that have been watching my videos and supporting me over the last 10 years or so. It's been a crazy journey. I started this out as a teenager. All right, what's up, guys? It's me, Vic Stoll, with My parents' house, my bedroom, making videos. Moved into the first Sidemen house where I slept on a mattress on the floor. But here we are now. So in a minute, we can take a look around. It's a newly constructed house, bit of a blank canvas which is exciting because all of you can be part of the experience. You can make suggestions in the comment section of this video and you may see some of them incorporated into the house. In probably a year or so from now, I'll do a follow-up video showing you what we all did. So uh, let's go and check it all out. So as you come into the house, you have the hallway, which is so tall. It's, it's high ceilings and then it's, it's two stories, so it's wild. I love the staircase, the way it goes up. We've got a, a, little, a little, little fire in here too that is actually doubles up as uh, like an air humidifier. And yeah, it's, 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 it's a hallway. I don't know what else to say, but we'll bring you on through to the rest of the house. As you guys know, I love open plan living. You've probably seen from the flats I've been in. So this is the kitchen slash kind of casual living area. Um, we come around here. The kitchen is massive. You could do a lot of cooking in here. Not that I will be. Maybe I should learn, maybe I should learn. One thing that I think is very different, we've got this, this, this cracked glass backsplash. I assume that was intentional. <laughs> I don't think someone just dropped this on the way in. I think it's meant to look like that, but it's a bit different. So the kitchen also has a few secrets. I don't know if any of you have spotted them yet. The first one is right here. You think it's a cupboard, it's actually more than a cupboard. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a larder that's, I can, you can, there we go, wait, hold up. Hide and seek, I'm gone. And if you come around through this way, again, you, you might think it's a cupboard, but in actual fact, we have uh, a utility room. And while we're here in the secret utility, we also have access to the garage. And in here, we have the Ferex V11 4.8 liter. Lawn mower. This thing is serious. This thing is mean. And also in here, we, we, have, we have the Aston Martin. That's just in the background. Uh, my Tesla is, uh, I still have that. That is out and about on its travels somewhere. But let's go and take a look inside this beauty right here. And in we get, this is uh, the second car I ever got. I think back in 2015. It's just a classic. Um, yeah, I love it. Back over on this side, connected to the uh, kitchen counter, you've got this nice little sitting area. So like, you know, a, a nice breakfast, sit here. There's just a few of you wanting to eat, there'll be the spot. And I like that, again, people could just be sat here, chilling out. It's a very open space. Everyone feels like they're involved and part of it. And then we got the TV up here floating.
thing. Now, this is one thing we've been debating. Do we leave this white or do we get some sort of some sort of wallpaper design on here? Like let me know in the comment section. Uh, that's the first question. We have another little fireplace here as well. And then as we come round to the other side, we have an empty space. Right underneath the chandelier, you can have a nice circular table here. Maybe even one of the ones I've seen them where you can like twist them and they expand out. Another little bit of clever storage right here. You've uh, got this. I guess you can put um, drinks and bits and bobs in here. I don't know, but it's just another useful space. And another feature that we have in here is if you look up, how awesome is that? It's just those little extra touches that why not? Why not, right? Extending on from what will be like the dining area, we have, I don't know what this room will be. I have no idea. So again, open to suggestions. It could be like a cozy TV room, could turn it into like a downstairs bar. It's got a really, really nice unit here for storing something. It could be a music room. I could get like drum kit in here, a little piano. Who knows? So then as we come out of the dining area, I guess we have the living room, which again, it's, it's very empty right now, but it's, it's a living room. What is there to say? Have you got any cool ideas for it? Let us know. I'm definitely not doing this video just to steal ideas from you guys for what to do with the house. That is, that is not my intention at all. brings us back to the uh, main hallway and actually somewhere not very exciting that we didn't explore it's just through here here we have a uh, shoe cupboard cloakroom and also the downstairs bathroom which uh, has a very funky mirror also I've never seen this before in my life I've never seen a toilet that isn't white and I, you know what I'm okay with it why not it's different I like it. And then last of all, we have the downstairs office. And in there, I have something special to show you all. And here it is. So this section of the video is sponsored by Rocket, who I'm now partnered with. And they're going to be hooking me up with the best gaming equipment all year round. So these are the three products I'm going to be using. The Kona Pro Air. We've got the Vulcan TKL Pro and the Sin Pro Air. Let's take a look at them. Okay, we'll check out the headset first. These have immersive 3D audio with 50 millimeter drivers and they're super comfortable too. So this is the mouse right here. It has stellar wireless and Bluetooth with fast charge on top of that is really lightweight. And here we have the Vulcan Pro keyboard. I've gone for the TKL variant, which is more compact. It takes up less space on the desk. It uses Titan Switch optical keys, and it has a 100 million keystroke lifespan. All of these products are also connected to... I might, I might get another, another keyboard. Mine's a big one. I bought a big one. I should have bought a small one. To the Rockat IMO ecosystem, which means all of the lighting effects across all the devices can connect and combine. So once again, huge thanks to Rocker, and let's continue with the tour. Before we go upstairs, like one of the first ads that, ads that I like ads, like in video ads that I watched, I was like, damn. So let's check out the garden. Here we have a nice little area to sit. We're still lacking in the outdoor furniture department, but it's a good start. And here we have the pool, you guys. Guys, know I love to swim. Uh, the English weather is not very helpful with that, but here it is. Here we have outdoor shower and the hot tub. And then round here, we have the barbecue area. Again, gonna have to pray for some good weather. Also, it's not in a great way right now, but there is, there is a koi carp pond. Don't have any koi carp. Don't really know if I want any koi carp, but yeah, it's a koi carp pond. Now, 
also this week I've launched my own YouTube Shorts channel. There's a link in the description below where you can go and subscribe to the channel. On there I'll be uploading short clips featuring some of my favourite moments across the history of this channel and some exclusive new ones. Let's see if we can eventually hit a million subscribers on that channel and get another gold YouTube plaque. And now it is time to go upstairs. Welcome, and here we are. Let's go and check out the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom, an empty room right now, a very tall room, and it's got a nice little view out to the garden, the pool. It's got a little safety thing in case I, you know, wake up one morning and decide I want to go for a swim. I'm just looking at it like, could I dive that far? I don't think I could, and I don't think I will be trying that. So this window is lovely. But we're going to have to work out how to cover it, because I like it to be dark when I sleep, so I think maybe like some curtains at the top that kind of come out and get pinned at the side or something. That's going to be an interesting but good problem to have. And then as we come on over this way, we have the master bathroom, which is, it is it's massive. It's twice the size of the bedroom that I grew up in, and it's a bathroom. So we've got, we've got his and hers sinks. We got a uh, lovely bathtub. Look at this. Ah, I hit my head. <laughs> and then down here we have toilet and shower. And then just around the corner from the bathroom, we have this dressing room. This is ridiculous. Again, this is like the size of the bedroom I grew up in. It's got awesome lights. Plenty of room to store stuff, all my sidemen clothing. We'll have a wonderful new home. This is nuts. This is unreal. There's even a, a, a fancy drawer for fancy things. I don't have this many fancy things. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. If I was to have a crib, I'd just take a picture in my closet. I want to take a picture outside of my crib, just know that my closet is my crib. So my closet is like this, everything else is big. Even like two things for, for shoes, I, I think. I, yeah, two things. What are they? The slidey sh angle shelves. Angle shelves? I don't know what I'm doing. So that is it for the master bedroom. This is a five bedroom house. We've got the next one up just through here. Um, this is just storage cupboard, but in here we have a, another bedroom. It's got loads of storage. Down here it has its own ensuite bathroom, which is which is very nice. All the bathrooms are very different, which I actually quite, quite like. And then down on the other side, storage. Down here it has its own ensuite bathroom, which is which is very nice. All the bathrooms are very different, which I actually quite like. And then down on the other side of this floor, we have two more bedrooms. We've got this one right here, which we've been using as our like temporary, come here, get some stuff done, stay here. This spare bedroom has a dressing room, which is, I would say over the top, but actually I've got a lot of friends that live out in Australia and in America. So if they came to visit, I could put them in here. They're gonna be watching this video right now. So uh, get your dibs on the rooms right now, guys. And another bathroom again. Similar, but just its own unique twist on it. And then we have the last bedroom on this floor. Again, very empty right now, but eventually it will be all done up. I love this mirror. Very cool mirror. Through here we've got yet another dressing room and another ensuite bathroom. And that is everything that is on the second floor. which is, I'd say, more of a fun floor. And here we are. Let's go into the first room right here, which uh, may just look like a room right now, but this is gonna be my office, tucked away at the very top of the house. I can turn it into a proper gaming cave of some sort. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I know it's gonna have to be cool. Now that it's you know my house, 
I could go all out and uh, yeah, uh, any suggestions or ideas, let me know. I think I'm, I'd stick my desk here. The skylight is lovely, but I think it would have to go because I like my lighting to be all constant. We'll, we'll get LEDs everywhere. Something very, very key. Some serious air conditioning. I'm, I'm glad that's here because it does get warm at the top of this house. So we come out of what is my soon to be office and across the hallway to this room. Oh yeah. We have a whole cinema room. Got the bar in the back for anyone that wants drinks. Got the big sofa for all the guests. I'd love to kick back and watch something now, but I'm a busy guy and I got more of this house to show you. So let's continue on out through some more doors to see what else we have on this floor. The final half of the top floor. We have got what is again soon to be an awesome gym. It's got TV, the mirror is already set up. It has like a little kitchen area as well, so if you do want to like prepare some snacks, take over to the cinema room, a post-workout treat, you can do that here as well. We even have uh, our own little, little gym bathroom, so you know, if you... If you smell really bad after a session, you can even jump in the shower here. before you uh, go and greet the rest of the world. And that is it for the house. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed checking it out. I'm looking forward to updating you all with progress further down the line. Once again, a massive thanks to every single one of you and I will see you all on my next video. Goodbye.